Hi everyone, it's Mark, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can take an Avenger sequence that can't be played on a keyboard into one that can be played with different chords. So for this tutorial I'm going to use a sequence from the Trance Invasion 3 pack. So let's go to the sequence, it's called Where Did You Go? And when I play a chord, this is how it sounds. Okay, I can play a chord sequence. So yeah, it sounds pretty bad like that. Um, and it's not intended to be played with chords, that's why. It's intended to play one note and then it'll play its own chord pattern. But I'm going to show you how you can change the sequence to use any chord that you like. Alright, so let's start with the bass, okay? So if we go to bass and press solo and play the chord, Okay, the notes are going all over the place uh, and so we need to change that. So let's go to fixed note and go on chord detection and then let's play a chord. Okay, so we can hear the note is one note and if I change the chord, it changes the note and then another chord. Okay, so that's perfect for playing with chords. We just want a basic sequence that we can play with chords. So we're going to remove B, C and D by just clicking on them and then right clicking on them. OK, just right click on B, C and D to get rid of them. And when we play the chord, it's just going to cycle through um, the pattern. Uh, right, so let's go on to the next part. So let's go to pluck and solo that one. And if you look here, it's using ARP1. And let's go to ARP1 here. And this is how it looks. OK, so it's the same issue as before. But this time we need to make a few different changes too. So where it says mode chords, let's change that to uh, up. OK, and let's play a chord now. OK, so it's better, but there's still some things we need to change. So let's do the same thing we did before and right click on B, C and D to get rid of them. So make sure to select A and then let's go to where it says minus two and change that to zero. So they all need to say zero if you want to use a chord. OK, so let's just adjust those as well and let's play a chord now. OK, that's great. And if I play a different chord, it's playing the notes of that chord. OK, and let's go to the next one. So we've got main. So that's using ARP4. This is just actually our lead sound. So that one is fine, that is completely fine to play with the sequence. And the layer one, I think that is also just there to accompany the lead sound, so that's fine. Let's go to guitar. Okay, so there's something about this guitar sound. Okay, so we're on ARP2. Right, okay. So let's have a look here. We've got all these different notes and we've got two, three, two. That's what's causing the issue. So let's do what we did before and remove the B section. OK, so we've just got the A section. Make sure you select A and then let's change all these to zero. Okay, so I'm going to play a different chord. It's going to let me play the notes of that chord in the sequence. Okay, now let's play all the sounds together. So we can play any chord we like.
Okay, and we can play a melody with that as well. We've got an art on this melody. We can choose the free play mode on this sequence. So we can just play without an arpeggio. And we could also just turn the arpeggiator off by just turning off the ARP4. I think that's what this macro is doing. It's just turning off the arpeggio um, from this menu here. All right, so let's just try playing a melody with the sequence. So if you're a keyboard player, I think you'll really appreciate that tip. Hope you found it useful and see you in the next one.